Hi, this is Miguel Gomez with HIV.gov. I'm here having a conversation with Dr. John Brooks from the CDC. The topic for our conversation is MPOX. Sir, um, what has been the conversation around MPOX here at Croy? Well, the good news is that cases are way down. That big outbreak we had in 2022 has not recurred. Nonetheless, we've seen some presentations here. And the good news there is that they're really sort of confirming what we know, building our knowledge, but we're not seeing any signals that there's something to worry about. Well, that actually gives me um, pause, and I'm going to ask you another question. Yeah. It's, we're, um, it's almost spring 2024, yeah. and for our listeners, what is a message, a reminder, what we need to know mm -hmm. about MPOX at this time of year in 2024? You all may remember that when the MPOX outbreak occurred in 2022, it really picked up pace in gay pride season. We also know it was sexually transmitted. I think these true and true happen together. And you know, this, this is a virus that spread readily and easily through sexual networks. We're worried the same thing could happen. Now we haven't seen a lot of cases, maybe 10 a week, mm -hmm. and we see little clusters, but they burn out, but it's still present with us. And there's this new type in Africa that causes more severe disease that the vaccine should prevent about. So that the vaccine rather, you can get the vaccine to protect yourself. And that's what we want to really right. emphasize, get vaccinated. We Oh, I was just going to ask you, so two things. If individuals have only gotten one dose of their vaccination, right. what should they do? And can you tell us a little bit more about where you were going about right. um, what is on potentially on the horizon? That's right. So if you've only gotten one dose of the vaccine so far, go ahead and get your second. You don't need to repeat the series. You can still go ahead and get the second. And we think you'll get the full protection you would have if you, got, had you completed it earlier. And this is important because we need 50% of Americans vaccinated. To, of, of persons at risk, mm -hmm. not all Americans, but people who are at risk. So people with HIV, all of them vaccinated and sexually active, MSM, gay, bisexual, and other men who have sex with men. The problem is that there's this new clade, this new type of MPOX that's mm -hmm. occurred in Africa. It hasn't come here yet, but we know that this kind of thing can sometimes spread rapidly through sexual transmission and blossom worldwide quickly. We gotta hit that 50% target mm -hmm. to help make sure that our country is protected against this new type if it happened to enter the United States. The reason we're worried about this type is unlike the clade or the type that was circulating in 2022, this one causes substantially more severe disease. So we want to avoid that. We're watching, we're watching closely. We intend to be able to identify it quickly and then send out the warning signals. So stay tuned, hopefully something we never have to worry about, but get vaccinated. I love when you say get vaccinated because what's true, it's 2024, we still need to encourage vaccinations yeah. and we need to get the education out. So Absolutely. sir, thank you so much. And if people want more information on MPOX, where should they go? You can go to the CDC website, type in MPOX, M-P-O-X, and you should come to a variety of different resources, whether you're a person in the general community, an activist, or a clinician, it's all there for you. Well, sir, thank you so much for your time. This is Miguel Gomez reporting from Croy. Thank you.